Hey everyone, Rafi and Raffles here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to stream your movies and your music from your PC to your PS3. It's a free thing, it doesn't cost you anything. What you want to basically need is these two files. You might not need this one, depending. But you'll need this one for sure. All you'd have to do is download them. They are free downloads, so you would look you the links will be in the description, but you'd go to PS3 Media Server. You click on this. You click on that, the top one. Then when it's here, you click on here. And then you go here. You pick whatever one you are on. If you're using Mac, click this one. Windows, click that one. If you're using those other things, you can use these. You also, obviously, I would click Windows. Um, and then the other one thing would be simple. You would just look up Java. Runtime, runtime seven. You download it from here. The downloads here. If you need a 64-bit one, you click on this one. Um, yeah. So that's how you get those. It's pretty simple. First, now you just install them. Uh, next, install. Well, mine's already installed, so but yeah, do the new one. This is this is a good thing to do if you're trying to save space. Like some gamers, like if you're a big gamer, which most people who have PS3s are, um, you're going to want to save the space for your games. Um, so yeah, this is a lot easier or better for your spin, your PS3 memory. Um, yeah, and then it's not ready for now. Now normally, if you run it. Most people, unless you're a gamer and, and or a streamer or whatever, you wouldn't have Java's up uh, runtime environment. So you you try to run it and it would say fail. That's why you would need seven, runtime seven. Um, all you have to do is install it. It's pretty simple. The same thing. It does this. This is the download thing. Actually, you download it from a place. I'm not going to do it, but you download it, then you instantly want to install it. But I don't want to do that there now. Just go ahead. Now you go, you run it. You know what you would do is you wait. Sometimes it takes a lot of load, so don't like press it multiple times. Like you'll open it multiple times. It's going to search. Make sure your PS3 is on. It didn't find anything surprisingly. So what you would do is you do that. Why? Wine tap scanning in there. Yeah. I want to find my hey. There it goes. You're gonna find your PS3 just like that. Um, yeah, don't forget on your PS3 though to enable this ability. Mm, let's see. So you go to sharing either if you have a if you have a standard like this with all drivers, it will uh, what call it allow you to enter your entire hard drive, which a lot of people is going to want to do that. Some people will want to do this the other thing where you can add certain file folders or whatever. Like you could just add just, just your game, music, or pictures, folders, and that's all it brings up. I do that because it's my computer and my PSV, so I don't, I want everything to appear. So when you have all that stuff set, you click the save button. And then you're allowed to close this window, and it will be over here on, on your task manager, or your sidebar whatever you want to call it down here. It will always be enabled. So yeah. Um let me switch to a. Uh, let me switch to the PS3 real quick to show you all it working and all that. Now what you would want to do is go to your network settings and enable your media server connections. Then you'd want to go 
to either it matter to your music or videos, whatever. And you should find it. If he doesn't find it instantly, you're gonna have to click on the search for media servers. Otherwise, you could just go here. C is the name. It's the letter of my driver or driver. My thing. If you want to know what your desktop is, you just go down to users. Your username, and desktop, and then you'd be able to go to like let's see videos. Click on. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll click on this. No reason. And then click on that. Sometimes with videos, it would take a little longer to do. Because obviously, it's, you know, yeah. But there it goes. As you see, you can still press the PS button to do this. Yeah. And then you can go to. I think so, it's freaking out on me. Let's say your music is a better example since I don't have any music on my PS3 anymore. You go here, go to it still, go to the same place basically. Then you go to desktop, then you can go to your music folder and click on anything. Let's click on. Let's click on this. Let's click on. Some tracks in there apparently. That's a lot of lies. I have tracks in here. What the hell? Here's some. I don't know why I said there's no freaking songs in there though. And there it goes. Make a song. So there you go. I don't know why it says there's no tracks in that thing though. Oops. There's songs in there. We're doing it with this one, let's see. Nope, they're here. Why is it doing it to... I don't understand things. Dream no, is Dream Evil like that? No, Dream Evil is there. Huh. That's evil. That's, con that's weird, but whatever. As you see it works. This is like you music and there's no songs on here at all. No playlist on here and there's no songs on here. Yeah. So yeah, hope this helps. Um subscribe, like you all know how what to do.